or on this channel, I, when I speak about this, I, it, it's not for me just about finding um, an affluent man. As I said before, it's about finding yourself and what high value and leveling up means to you and also accepting what society believes a high value leveled up man or woman is. You need to be unique. You can't be like everyone else. You can take and you can be inspired, but you should not be a carbon copy of someone else because you will not stand up. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I've just been working on me and leveling up. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this level up video. Because I believe a lot of the reason why a lot of us are stuck, particularly ladies, even men as well, is because we don't understand 100% what it means to level up and what are some of the factors that cause you to be stuck on your journey to level up. I believe that I was always a person, or I know that I was always a person who looked the part. And they always say that you can fake it till you make it. But I mean, you cannot fake it so much so to the point where you never make it and you just look apart, but then you never get to the point where you walk the walk, right? So it's one thing to look the part. It's another thing to walk the walk. And I'll tell you how I bridge the gap between looking the part and walking the walk. And don't get me wrong at all, both of these things are needed in tandem in order for you to actively be on your level of journey. Of course, if you've let yourself go, if you were in a verbally, emotionally, physically abusive relationship, if you have a lot of insecurities, if you have decreased self-worth, if you lack motivation, and amongst other things, it would put you on a lower level of leveling up than those who may just skyrocket and get there before you, right? How I leveled up my life. I removed the people from around me that did not see eye to eye with my journey to become a better person. And I didn't do it because I wanted to have a rich husband or attract well off men, which let's just be honest, a lot of women do want that for survival, you know, for their families. And I would believe it would be within a woman's right to be with the better suited man that would be able to provide them everything that they need in their life and their future children or current children, right? I don't believe that's a gold digger. And I don't believe it's wrong for wanting that, just like men want a woman who, for whatever their reasons may be, they want a woman who might be financially intelligent, they might want a woman who is just beautiful, they might want a woman who's kind, a woman who brings peace into their life, a woman who can, who genuinely enjoys what she does whether it's just taking care of the home, whether it's cooking, whether she has her own business, whether you know she has a more higher level of education. If that woman is confident in herself and understands what she believes makes her high value, as well as also combining what society believes is high value, then that's leveling up for the man or for you, and there's nothing wrong with doing this. But to take it right back to what I was saying, I had to let go of certain people in my life who 
did not understand the mindset changes that I was going through, who I believe envied that change, possibly because they may have thought that they were further back than me on the leveling up journey, or they see your light, they see your potential, and they know that you are going to achieve a lot in your life just because of your energy, just because of who you are as a person. And these people have the evil eye, and I definitely believe in that 100%. They don't want to see you level up. They don't want to see you ascend to your higher self or your goddess self, whatever term resonates with you. Everybody has goals. Whether leveling up is career, etc., all the things that I mentioned before, everybody has goals in their life. Focusing on appearance, right? If you stop taking care of yourself, start taking care of yourself, eat better, train yourself to be physically fit, read books, train your mind to be articulate, to be able to have conversations with individuals, educate yourself on what's going on in the world so you can jump in and add value to conversations so you can be a part of the conversation and have access to a larger network of people. Be feminine, be soft, be beautiful, find your look. It's one thing to look at that woman and say, wow, she's beautiful. If I had blonde hair, black hair, red hair, whatever hair, brown hair, and I cut it in such a way and I wore a top that looked exactly like that, I too will be leveled up and I will be beautiful and that's not necessarily the case. You need to find and curate and develop your own style. You can draw from people, you can be inspired by others, but never copy another woman. You need to be unique to stand out and find or have someone come upon you or attract that job or look beautiful in the mirror for you. Attract what's for you, right? <sighs> These people, it can be hard. They can be family members. They can be friends. It could be a job that's holding you back. It can be a husband. It could be a boyfriend. It could be many things. And they'll put you down verbally, mentally, physically, whichever way to knock you down. I've been through that in a past relationship. I believe being in that relationship, he believed that at some point I would stop putting myself together and being social, etc. And that became a problem. And then the name calling started to come and he tried to break me down and, you know, put me in a position where when I look back now, it's like I have so much strength and so much insight that that would have never happened to me. But a lot of us believe in the fairy tale and in Disney movies, and a lot of us are not prepared for the letdown. We believe that men are like some men or most men at least the ones that play the part originally, you know, initially are like knights in shining armor and they'll never do you wrong and all of the above. And then when it doesn't turn out that way, you just automatically think, oh, 
Am I just the ugly stepsister? Am I, you know, just relaying it to like the Disney stories? Why doesn't he want me? And instead of realizing that you are high value, you are a valuable woman, you are beautiful, you're a goddess, you're everything, your journey has only just begun and you just get better with every circumstance, whether negative or positive that comes your way, if you can just grab the lessons and learn from them and just keep elevating to the next level. If only we had that mindset at first, we wouldn't be in so much pain and we wouldn't be stuck and I wouldn't have been stuck. He would say some really, really terrible things to me. He would do some terrible things to me and I wouldn't understand and I would cry and I would cry and I honestly started to believe at some point that I wasn't beautiful, that I wasn't good enough. And I was stuck. I was stuck. I didn't believe anybody would want me. Um, I stopped doing certain things for myself. I started eating emotionally. I, the girl who was so strong and embodied, you know, the, I just, I just had the embodiment of just a strong, high-value woman, not independent of men, but able to live with men and remain in my femininity. I, I was that woman naturally, and there are some people out there in the world who are threatened by that, threatened by your light, threatened by your blessings and try to step in the way of your blessings because for some reason they don't see that in themselves they believe that they themselves are not worthy so really and truly they're projecting onto you and I believe I'm a very empathic person and I had to learn how to master that because I believe that's a very good quality of myself. So it's not something that I totally wanted to hide or bury deep down inside in order to um, protect myself from those that would abuse it. You know, I had to master it, but there are people out there that will take advantage of you and will project themselves onto you and you can get sucked into that and you can get stuck and if it's not someone else it could even be you you may have grown up maybe in conditions situations systemic problems that cause you to believe like wow I'm out of my way here I could never I could never I could never do this I could never achieve this I could never achieve that and that negative self-talk is also keeping you stuck and holding you back so what you need to do what I did remove that negative self-talk say I am beautiful I am a goddess I am high value I am a woman I do need a man I am worthy of love. I am everything that's positive and abundant in this world. And whatever it is that you want to be and whatever it is that your level up is, say that you are that. Believe that you are that. They always say fake it till you make it, but it's very important that you make it. You can't fake it forever. Let go of people around you who try to bring you down, who cannot reconcile with the idea of you evolving. And I think this is so important. <sighs> you always, you always, you get to a stage in your life where you develop these goals. Like I said, it could be career, it could be 
parents, it could be relationship, it could be money, it could be an, an amount of things, you know, developing your talents, it could be so many things, right? But there was a time where you weren't in touch with what your goals were, and you may have just been free drifting. And usually this is when we're much younger, right? And maybe you did live a contradicting lifestyle to what you're now trying to achieve or moving towards. Maybe there are mistakes that you've made in your past. You know, maybe there are questionable people that you did date in your past. And the close ones around you, and just because they're close don't mean that they're your tribe, so to speak, or, you know, your real friends, <laughs> right? Some of them, it's almost like they'll keep you in hell on earth. They'll keep you in a jail, so to speak, and treat you as if you're like a convict and that you can never be rid of maybe some tainted past or some shameful situation or just the fact that you may have been broke as hell in the past without a dime to your name and looking rough, right? These images of yourself in the past and when they see you, when they see you now, they want to remind you of that always, always. Always. They don't they don't treat you with the respect that you call for and you demand now with the way that you carry yourself. They treat you the same way that you were back in the day, maybe when you used to get drunk with your friends or something in college or whatever. <laughs> whatever, right? They in a negative way. They wanna they wanna see you in that way. They don't want you to live that up. And that keeps you stuck or it can keep you stuck if the shame that you feel about this holds you captive and controls you. You need to accept that not everyone has come from a place with a silver spoon in their mouth and has had perfectly smooth and flowy, you know, locks and smooth skin and a six pack and curves and all of these things and money in the bank and a beautiful car and a beautiful home and, and beautiful words and, and, feminine we weren't always like this a lot of us weren't born that way but we should not be ashamed of where you came from and you cannot allow people to make you feel ashamed because that does have the potential to make you stuck so for my first video here, I guess I'm focusing on how to become unstuck and how to get yourself to a place where you are okay with your past, you're okay with letting go of people that will mentally, physically, and verbally abuse you in order to keep you stuck in order to bring you down because they don't want to see you moving forward there are people that will be envious of you jealous of you and they will do things to sabotage you whether it's mentally physically or verbally whether they purposely try to you know botch uh, a job interview or slash the tires on your car like who knows there's people out here who do these things for these reasons and they have their own issues that they need to deal with so it's better that 
you reconcile with the idea that you would love to have these people in your future and it just can't happen. Like for example, I'm the type of person that I love to share knowledge, I love to share insights, I love to have the people around me know something insightful or some epiphany that I've come across. I want to share it. Like, hey, did you know? Do you know this is what we're doing? Like, let's do this. I want everybody to grow with me. But not everybody has that type of mentality, right? So I foolishly shared my level up journey with a lot of people around me. And I was faced with a lot of backlash, a lot of jealousy, a lot of rude, evil, bad-minded attitudes and, and situations that I had to go with, go through. And to be honest, I might make another video speaking about some of these things. If you want to story time, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, put it below. But that is how I started my level. Focusing on what leveling up meant to me, what it looks like, how I can achieve that, removing people from my life that would not be able to separate my past self, which is now non-existent, to the future self, people who were not able to grow with me but would hinder my growth. Had to remove them or distance myself from these people as much as possible, especially if they're family members, right? And I myself had to get past the negative self-talk and not feel the imposter syndrome that sometimes we feel and realize that I am worth it. I do deserve it. And no matter what humble beginnings I came from, my traje trajectory is onward and upward and nothing is going to stop me from doing that and I'm doing it for myself and while I'm on this journey doing it for myself being open to life and what comes into my life and now that my mindset has also leveled up being picky with who I let into my lifestyle and how they can bring value into my life and how I can bring value into their life. So, like I said, you can fake it till you make it, but you gotta make it. And once you get there, you have to realize it's more than just looking the part, which is faking it till you make it. It's about emotionally being there and understanding the mindset, the intellect, the lifestyle, and accepting it as such and living your life like that day by day. And understanding as if you were at a job or if you had inter Instagram profile or a brand, a lot of people don't deviate from the plan or do things that's not in line with their brand. So you really need to, at this point, if you're on this level, also go through your Instagram. Move any videos, any captions, any pictures, or anything like that that is not the look you're going for because when people see you also online, you have to carry it yourself and you do have control of that. You want people to see you a certain way, value you a certain way, you gotta carry yourself a certain way in public, and nowadays, public is also social media. You have to take heed to the words that you use and really, really cultivate and understand the woman or man that you want to be. And you need to go part by part. What does that look like? What does that sound like? What does that feel like? What does that smell like?
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you gathered some insight from my beginnings of my love love journey and I was just compelled to do this this morning. I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what, I feel like doing a video and I feel like talking. Somebody needs to hear this about how and why you're stuck. How and why your love love journey doesn't really seem to be working for you because you look the part and you're missing a big component about being the part and making it. Making it doesn't necessarily mean you're rich and famous and you've, ri you've married a rich, affluent man. It's about the mindset. It's about the lifestyle. It's about the journey. It's about being on the journey in the right way, in the righteous way, and learning as you go. And all the tests that come your way, all the situations you go through, how you deal with them, situation by situation, day by day, test by test, develops and builds your inner worth for yourself, develops and builds your value for yourself and in the eyes of others. So don't try to bypass the journey and jump to the end goal, which for some of you is a rich man. <laughs> not be your ultimate goal it should be mastering the level up mastering yourself knowing yourself it's very important if you enjoyed this video please give the video a thumbs up please leave in the comment section your stories of your level up journey have you been feeling stuck what has been making you feel stuck so we can have a continued conversation and engagement in the comment section. There might be other women out there who need to hear your story so they can see where they might be going wrong. I do believe in love. And the ultimate relationship would be to be with somebody who has similar goals to you, who can protect, care for, and take care of you and your children who has their life together <laughs> as much as you do as well because you also bring that to the table and your goals are something that they find honorable or appealing and attractive in you as well right so like i said <laughs> i will definitely be doing videos like this when they come to me i will definitely be doing some story times of times in my life where i was not on a love up journey and when i was very much stuck and we'll be talking to the ladies as well about areas of our lives that we can level up in for ourselves and that doesn't take away from having a partner that provides for us right so thank you for watching this video please subscribe please like please comment please share and i will see you in the next video and Let's just all band together and uplift each other and remain positive. So therefore we can attract more positivity into our lives. See you in the next video.